Hello, everyone. My name is Andrew, and I'm Cassie, and you're listening to Culips. Hey there, Cassie. Hey, Andrew. Today we are going to talk all about moving. Ugh, my favorite subject. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing to do in life. Not. Actually, I hate moving. It's really terrible. Me too. <laughs> so, guys, this is the topic for today's simplified speech episode: moving. But just before we talk about moving, guys, I want to remind you that there's a study guide for this episode available on our website, culips.com, and we'd recommend that you give it a download and follow along with us while you listen here today. Okay, Cassie, let's get into it. The reason why we're talking about moving is because you recently moved, right? That's correct. I moved this week. Oh, it was this week.、Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was like a month ago or something. Nope, three days ago. <laughs> three days ago. Wow. So you must be tired. Nah. <laughs> How far was your move? You didn't leave cities. You stayed in the same city. But was it across town, or was it just down the block? It was across town, but my original house was directly downtown. Amazing. Okay. And my new house is on the very outskirts of the town. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's about a thirty or forty minute car ride to downtown. Yeah, from my new house. Okay. And the new house is just like. Rice fields, <laughs> almost. Okay, so you're you are living in Gwangju, in the southern part of South Korea, and so this is I'd, I'd say the suburbs of Gwangju are more rural, right? There's a lot of farms and、yeah. agriculture. There's no farms directly in my line of view, but you know, you drive five minutes up the road, and they're there. <laughs> okay, so you're out in the sticks. Yes, that's correct. The boonies. The boonies, yeah. <laughs> And so, why did you decide to move right to the edge of the city?、Uh, I got a new job, and they offered me housing. Okay, all right. So, a lot of English teaching jobs in Korea give housing to the teachers. Yeah,、right? I'm really grateful for it, actually.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice to have a place to live, but you don't get to choose where it is. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Are you close to the school you'll be working at? At least that is the biggest perk. It is in my backyard. Okay, so you can just walk to work. Yes. Okay, that's good. Now, is your new place smaller than your old place? It is smaller, but it's really clean,、mm-hmm. and everything's provided. So okay, it's really nice. All right, so everything's. Kind of there for you. That、mm-hmm. means, I guess, you had to get rid of some stuff. Yeah, I did actually. Um, but actually, so Andrew moved last year, and he actually gave me a bunch of furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I passed on my old things that I didn't need anymore to Cassie, and、yeah. then. And then, so I wanted to do the same thing for someone else. So、okay. I donated it just yesterday, actually. Okay, you got rid of all the old furniture again.、Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Nice. Now, what about physically moving your things? I guess if everything was provided, you pretty much just need to bring your clothes and some personal items. Yeah, but I don't know about you,、mm-hmm. but whenever I move, I just realize how much stuff I have <laughs> and don't need. <laughs> ah, I know. Isn't it the worst? The worst. So,、um, I actually didn't use a moving service. I just moved everything with, you know, my own hard labor and、okay. <laughs> that of my boyfriend and friends. Okay. Did you have to rent a truck, or did you just carry everything on the bus or the subway? Oh, that would be crazy. No, <laughs> <laughs> we did rent a, a so car. There's a service here in Korea where you can rent cars for an hour or three hours or a day, and、okay. they're all over the city. Okay. I Great. Use that. Okay. Nice, and I wanted to ask you about 
your personality because you said that you notice that you have things that you don't really need but that you hold on to are you kind of a sentimental person do you tend to keep stuff just for the sake of keeping it actually i'm not okay but i am a what is that called like a, a hoarder are you a hoarder i'm not a hoarder i'm a d- disaster no what would you call prepper that? Yes, not disaster necessarily, but if I find something interesting, I'm like, oh, I could use that in the future. Uh, <laughs> or I should keep this. Maybe I'll use it again. Yeah. Mm, okay. And I don't use it ever again. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I've been really making an effort to try and downsize some of the stuff that I have in, in my life because... I've probably moved since I was 20. I'm 35 now. So in the last 15 years, I've probably moved like over 10 times. So it's really annoying when you have things that you have to move, which now if you look around my place here, Cassie, you won't see very many books or very many records. But if you saw my house when I was 25, you'd see lots of books and records. And I just got tired of toting these things around everywhere. I totally understand. Andrew, do you know this is my third move this year? What? Third move this year? Yes. Oh my gosh. Why did you move so much? I've been so unlucky. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I lived in the States for five months, if you remember. Oh, that's right. You went back home for a bit. Yeah. So I actually moved on January 3rd last year. Mm, 2019 yes okay. and then i there was some craziness that happened with my landlord and he was suing someone anyway i had to leave okay so i moved again and then now i have this new job and i moved on december 31st of 2019 so that's three times in one year <laughs> those are some big distances between those places from Korea to USA and then back to Korea. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that for the foreseeable future, you can settle in and not have to move anytime soon because it is just a pain in the neck. That's true. But I'm an expert now. So if you ever need advice. (laughs) Well, if I ever have to move, then I will get in touch and maybe you can tell me some packing tips or something. (laughs) However, one thing I'm not an expert in is finding someone to take over my lease. Oh, yeah. yes. Did this... you ever have that problem, Andrew? Did I ever have this problem? No, thankfully, I have never had this problem. And maybe we should explain what the problem is to our listeners. So guys, you know when you sign a lease, this is the contract between the landlord and you for the for renting an apartment, right? We call this the lease. And usually it's 12 months, but sometimes 24 months, could be longer, could be shorter as well. But if you decide to move out before the contract is finished, before the lease is finished, then you're in kind of a sticky situation, right? Either you have to keep paying the monthly rent on your apartment, or you have to find somebody who wants to take over the contract take over the lease and i've been in the situation where i've taken over somebody's lease before but i've never had to find somebody to take my lease Mm. is this the the problem that you're facing right now yeah it is and um i've never been in this situation either and i thought it would be really easy because i live in a very low rent very brightly lit and very amazingly located apartment and it's very affordable you told me how much your monthly rent is off air here earlier and i was like what how can you not find somebody to take over your lease the location is good and you know when we're talking about real estate we always say location 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 right it's very important so your location is good i've been to your place before it's bright it's sunny it's got a nice high ceiling it's very open yeah, no, and it's affordable. My mind is like blown. Why is this so difficult to find someone? But, you know, I'm letting it out to fate and hoping that I'll have this settled in the next two weeks. 
If you're looking for an apartment in Korea and you need a good place, send us an email to contact at qlips.com and maybe we can set you up with Cassie's old place. Yeah, seriously, hit me up. <laughs> well, good luck with finding somebody. I hope that that gets resolved for you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for listening today. I think that will wrap it up for us. Before we let you go, though, I want to remind you about our website, qlips.com. It's the place where you can download the study guide for this episode and also listen to all of our past episodes as well. We are also all over the place on social media, on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. So if you would like to stay up to date with all of the news here at Qlips, just follow us on social media and you can do that. We'll be back soon with another brand new episode and we will talk to you then. Goodbye, everyone. See you around. <laughs>